Hey yo, what's happening everybody? Stay at home gamer here. Oh yeah. With some more Juno New Origins. Yeah. I... Now, one thing I want to tell you a little something about people is the graphics card that I have. Right now I'm running, well, it's a RTX 4090. Oh yeah. Um, and right now it's running at 25% utilization. 31 degrees and that's pretty much how it runs during this game it might go up a little bit more when I'm actually playing it but yeah not nah. it actually dropped down now yeah so anyway um it's got this thing called DSR, and because I have the 4090, maybe it's all 40 series, but it has the DL DSR, which is like a dynamic super resolution. Basically, it'll render the game at a higher resolution and then render it back down, or fit it on my screen. It gives it more pixels, basically. I tried it on a couple games and I could tell the difference when I looked real close like I just took a screenshot and zoomed in then I could tell but other than that anyway back to this game we are gonna do an orbit and he's gonna give us a special rocket to use okay so let's try it now this thing is pretty badass looking let's see um, and quite honestly, it's not, well, it is quite big, I guess. It's quite big, eight, almost nine meters. Um, it needs a few tweaks to its engines. All right, so let's see. Okay, this is the Delta Z which means change in velocity. Theoretically, this is how fast the craft could go in a perfect environment without gravity and without drag. Okay? Okay. Realistically, we need about 4,500 meters per second to get into low orbit. It appears that we have more than enough, but we also need to consider the engine performance is affected by atmosphere. Okay, so change the altitude to zero in the design panel. We have some work to do. Don't worry, it's just rocket science. <laughs> okay, so click the stage one. The Delta V looks okay for this stage since we just want to use it to gain some altitude before starting the more efficient engine scenes that can require a thinner atmosphere. Okay. Another important metric is thrust to weight ratio. If less than one, the craft will not be able to overcome gravity. The stage has plenty. Okay. Notice the thrust to weight is higher than the starting the ending for sweet is higher than the starting is because the engines are burning fuel mass so the craft is losing mass which means the rocket's acceleration actually increases throughout the stage right one last thing to mention is the uh lsp specific impulse it's kind of like gas mileage higher is better these solid Rocket motors are not very efficient, but they're cheap, and they get the job done. So, let's look at second stage. From our previous launches, we found that this stage will ignite around 8 kilometers. Really, that's it. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go up to 8, as close as we can. Alright, look at the first stage. Uh, so let's get the second stage. The delta V in starting is terrible. Thrust per weight, thrust weight ratio is terrible. This is because the gnome engine is optimized to work in a vacuum. But don't worry, we can do some rocket surgery 
to help improve it. Okay, so the Undering is suffering from severe overexpansion. Which happens when the engine's exhaust exit pressure is less than air pressure. Coco, coco, uh huh, coco. Uh, the closer the exit pressure is to the air pressure, the more efficient. Right. We can shorten the nozzle and crank up the power to increase this engine's exit pressure so that it is closer to the air pressure at this altitude. Right. Change the novel nozzle throat size to 100%. So that's making it go up. Up, up. Okay. Shorten the nozzle and crank up the power. Shorten the nozzle and crank up the power. Change the nozzle length to 50. Now I'm watching this number over here to see how close we're getting to this 37 while I'm moving this down. So if I go past it, that's why. Okay. Uh, that's changing it quite a bit, yeah? All right, so there we are there. And then we're going to crank up the power, okay? So that's not changing the exit pressure, but it is making the thrust weight. All right, so now they want us to close. That's a huge improvement in the delta V and thrust to weight. Well, let's take a look at the third stage. Oh my, there's a third stage? Okay. Uh, 1.39, see, I don't know if that's actually, I would, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep a note of these numbers, like how what's good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I get because they wanted me to do an orbit because I played it for a lot yesterday when I bought it, and uh, and I couldn't remember how this one taught me how to do it, so I was like all over the place. So let's hope I remember. And now I have a video to go back on if I want to. <laughs> all right. So the third stage will mostly be working in the upper atmosphere and space. Change the altitude to a vacuum. And go into stage 3. The delta V is pretty good. See, they're saying 2.83 is pretty good. But they said that this one was excellent now. And that one's only... You know what I'm saying? It's like, what? Uh, it can be proved by lengthening the nozzle. Okay, so... Parts properties... Ideally, exit pressure would be zero for a rocket engine designed to work in space without it require an infinitely large nozzle. <laughs> Alright, so change the size to 35. Okay, they're making it go down. And lengthen it to 160. Ooh, ooh. And then close it. Okay. Alright, now we're ready to launch. Okay. Well then. Now this is the part that I have to pay attention to. It's got three stages. And the first one only gets them up to like, really? Not even 10,000? Let's lock and load. Okay. So, something that I do that they don't tell you to do is um, Z turns on your engines that you can turn on and off and X turns them off. So when I hit Z, there I go 100%, but we can also use shift and control, left shift and control to do it more finer. But this isn't gonna kick in until the second and third stage. But I like to have it on so as soon as I let go of that coupling, the, 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 the motor turns right on. So. That's why I do that. So I guess we're ready to go. Um, let's see what these first engines do. So, just now getting off the ground. They were already burned down to like 93%. Wow, these things are crap. 
wait till the booster is fully depleted. It will happen at around five kilometers. Wow, that's just crazy. To, I guess that's how high you have to get though to make it change that much. Okay, press space, it pauses it for me. Um, press space to activate your second stage. Remember to throttle up this time. It's no longer a solid motor. See, yeah, that's what I did here with that throttling thing. Um, so yeah, it's already on for me. All right, so, okay. <clears throat> okay, so click and drag anywhere on the blue nav circle until you hit 70 degrees. So they're having me do this really low okay so I'm gonna keep note of that oh it unpaused for me rocket will start tilting this is important because to be in orbit you need to go sideways very fast <laughs> okay so there's our prograde prograde and that's the retrograde Okay, click the lock velocity prograde to lock your heading. Okay, so that happened about 12,000 feet, and then it's just going to continue to fall. You can build your rocket to follow a natural gravity turn. This forces the rocket to pitch down as it goes up, following an efficient path of orbit without the need of complex guidance systems. See, that's what they did there. Maybe that's why they build them tall like this, not that. I bet you that's the reason. Okay, wait until the fuel is depleted. Now, those, that third stage we set up to be for a vacuum, and we're not going to be anywhere near a vacuum when this one runs out. See what I'm saying? Um, I wish I could see what we're at, but I can't really. I mean, it's looking like about a little less than 40, about 40 degrees. And we're going to run out. And is it going to pause it for me? Yep. Okay. Press space to activate your third stage. Third time is the charm. <laughs> He's a riot. <laughs> what a riot. Um, almost there. Burn your engines until your apoapsis passes 100. The apoapsis is the highest point in your trajectory. I haven't unlocked the map. See, I'm not going to be able to do crap like this until I have the map. Because you really need to all right uh burn your engines okay i gotta get ready to shut these engines off the apoapsis is the highest point in your trajectory all right so the what's the p1 periapsis is the lowest point um i'm gonna get ready to to, to just stop the motor here unless they do it for me because they might uh wow we still got a ton of fuel holy cow that was really efficient all right so stop my fuel okay wait until you are out of the atmosphere to increase the game speed all right <laughs> click and drag anywhere until you are set to 10 degrees so right when we hit space But our apoapsis is what I gotta be looking at. Ap 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 um, so let's lock this at 10. Click and drag anywhere on the orange nav circle until you're at 95 degrees. Now, why would it want me to do that? I wonder. It wanted me to do this slight little turn. I wonder why. Is it because...
Maybe that's going to make it orbit around the equator better. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, press P and unpause the game. Select time warp to really speed things up. Okay. Your final maneuver can be formed more efficiently closer to your apoapsis. Alright. Press and hold left shift to throttle up to 100%. Or I can just hit Z. I mean, at last you need to raise your periapsis, which is the lowest point, until it is higher than the atmosphere. This way you won't touch it anymore, keeping you in orbit. Uh... So... Orbit. Uh, time to apoe. So how do I do that? I think I'm doing it right now. By ri by staying raised up, I think I'm doing it. I'm hoping. Uh, because I can't see without the map. Um. You need to go faster than 3,500 in order to get orbital speeds at this height. You are almost there. Oh, okay, so they want this to go up. All right, let's, um, the warp, when a non on oh, 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 it's not even going to let me fast forward in the tutorial. Well, that's a bum. Okay, periapsis, 80 kilometers. Apoapsis. I need to get 3,500 out of the beast. The beast. So where's the sun over there? I don't know. Is it up above me? No. Wow, am I making anybody dizzy yet? <laughs> okay, we're almost there. And... Okay, we got the orbit, so now we can, oh, the engines are burned out. Okay, so I don't have the map, which means I'm not going to be able to tell if this ship is ever going to come out of orbit, but it shouldn't. Um, yeah, it should just keep going round and around. So let's end flight, I guess. I don't know if I need to recover that ship. Well, I can't, obviously. This craft cannot be recovered because it's not on the ground. Cancel. Okay, so we'll just save. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... build another one or not. Um, I've got tech points. I've got tech points. I need... Enable map view. Lord have mercy. That's what I need. And that's for no reason. Um. So I have all these options because I don't want nothing down there. I bought that and I didn't need it before yet. Um, a side inner stage would be nice for having, uh, some big boosters. Any shower, yeah. Soft landing. Okay, don't need that. Slow descent. That would be a good one to have. This one would be even better. It's going to be between heat shield and... I don't need that. Uh, heat shield and... Oh, that'll give me new contracts, though. God darn it. Anyone with a money sign will give me contracts. So I want that. What do I want? Uh, 
man, my phone. It's like ugh, annoying the shit out of me lately. What is this called? Um. What the hell? Okay. Anyways. Slowed setup. I think that might be good to have, but I'll still crash though, wouldn't I? I think I would still crash. I want to have. Oh, it's such a tough decision. Um, let's do that one. We're overcomplicating things. That's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm gonna buy. <laughs> See what I did there? All right. So, woo, sleek, isn't it? You know what I'm gonna do? Let's go into the build menu and we will save this craft just in case I want. Oh, okay. So yeah, I already saved it. But anyway, let's go. Oh my God, my voice. What do we have now? This is the one. And then he wants this one to have an orbit. Wow, that's pretty specific. Like, way too specific for my... My handling. I don't know how I would do that. That's really tough. This one's easier. So, uh, all right, let's try this. Um, bam, bam. All right, so what I'm going to do is I get five on the bottom of that. I'm going to start my own. I don't want to use theirs. Um, okay. Let us get a mower. Whoops. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, this is probably really big. 11 tons. My god. Alright. Oh, that wasn't even connected. Okay. So... <clears throat> I wish I could stretch this menu out. Whoa. This is set wrong. Okay. So what I need to do... How tall is this? Oh, it's pretty tall. Um, obviously that's not going to work. Oh, I'm hungry. Um, put that over there. Now, wh what's this? Oh, break symmetry? Oh, okay. Okay. Now I gotta bang these puppies up. All right, so we want cone, yes, and we want coral 
408, 407, 408, 409. I'm trying to get that. Ha <laughs> um, A four-minute burn, huh? Not likely going to happen. <laughs> Not if we want any thrust out of it. Now, hang on a second. Um, what was this? Oh, that lowered it a lot. So I actually am going to put this all the way back. And is there a way that's lowering it? 24, 12. Oh. Okay. How much power do I want? Oh, that's a... Uh, that's gonna be a pretty... And I built it backwards again. Oh my god, I hate it when I do that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna test this out to see how high it'll go. And that's how I'm gonna do it. Now... Get some flippers. It's very deceiving, I find. The angle. Now this puppy... Okay, I'm just gonna test it. Can I do one more down? Does that look okay? See, now here's an example. Let me give you an example of where that super sampling would come in. Um, well, no, not really there, but I noticed on some things you can see really fuzzy lines. Anyway, let's put a nose cone on it. What's the width? Two meters. Wow, that's big. See, they don't build theirs this big. How as big is it next to a guy? It. Yeah. We'll just try it. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Does anybody? That looks good. Looks like a good old fashioned rocket. Um. Displays text for labeling stuff. <laughs> I'll play with that, don't you worry. Uh, let's just launch this thing. I want to see how it performs, how high it gets, all that. Okay, so let's lock it and launch it. And ooh, it took it a hot minute to get up there. But we're going now. I don't understand where we are because um, I'll tell you, it's three in the morning and the sun is out and um, it comes up around, I don't even know, like 15 o'clock. So this thing's getting me way higher than it needs to. So basically I need about half the fuel I have in there. Roger that. <laughs> Half the fuel coming up. I'm just going to make it thinner. We got 86 in there. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to do even less than half because I believe... 
What is going on? Oh. Uh, something's not right. This thing is wonky. I don't know how this stuff gets out of shape. I tell ya. That is definitely flared, isn't it? You see it, right? It's flared. Is it an illusion? I'm thinking it might be an illusion because it looks flat now. Oh my god. Uh, sometimes I get so confused. I gotta remember to mark this and have it have this. Beep. Okay. Now I'll pop you back on. I'm telling you that is flared. No, there's no way. leave it be I don't know why it's like that oh missed the garbage can oops throwing you away oh I can't throw it away cannot throw it away well I'll just get a new one then Now I can throw that one away. Primary command pod. Okay, well, why don't we that that one, the primary command pod, then? I don't know why I had to do all that. Um, <laughs> okay, so this thing's already pretty high itself. If I want three stages like they did, but I really don't need to do that, get that involved with it. So I took half the fuel, more than half the fuel. Let's see. That's all I needed to do, right? Yeah, okay. Let's see what that does. Oh no, we've got issues. Um. going on with that oh uh that's the default right there okay oh da -dum, da -dum. oh that got off a lot easier Alright, alright. Wow, we're really pushing here. Holy crap. Yeah, this is definitely... I can use a little less fuel than that even, guys. So I'm glad. I'm thinking I understand a little bit better. Probably because when I was playing it yesterday, I was drinking. <laughs> and my medication it's like you know forget about it so I can shorten this quite a bit which is what I'm gonna do and I don't think I need that much power either so let's I wish the fins would go with it with it I mean honestly please can I group things together I just, there might be a way to group things together but I don't know so we're going to go with 20,000, well, 19, 9, 10. I w I'd be able to get away with just using that one engine. With this thrust... One engine. If you can believe that, can you believe it? I'm gonna see if we can believe it. Um, 
this thing. Hopefully that thing saved what I put on it. Yes, okay. <laughs> Dude, I know I'm not doing much except testing, but hey, that's how I learn, and if y'all don't want to watch it, I don't know. I'm going to label it so you'll know what it is. But here we go. Um... Took that a little bit to get going. And we're not really gaining speed, but I think once we get to about 5,000, we will start gaining. The atmosphere starts getting way thinner. Yep, there it's picking up now. So this is going to get us up. This is going to Well, I got to remember I'm going to have other weight on top of it. So this is good right now. That's good. So now I got to build the top of it. Why did that get loud all of a sudden in my cursor change? That was weird. So I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have to... That's going to be the bottom. We'll put you over there for now. Now, the top, he's not going to be that big. Oh, this is going to be the top, so this is going to be a really small one, because it's going to be the one for space, which I don't even think I need. Thirty K? My dear lord. Okay, well, it is what it is. This one's gonna be for way up here. So what can we do? Oh yeah, we want to try to get it to as close to zero as we can. So I'm at 3.3 .3 and... Okay, yeah, so we can lower this down. I'd say that is decent. I actually don't want to go that far. Let's put it there. That's good enough. Okay. Uh, well, is there anything else I need to change? I don't need to change the size. Let's see. I need to put on this and then I'm gonna have okay everything come with it please thank you and then I'm gonna have this puppy This is going to be the second stage. Now, that is way, is that way too big or is it the same size? 
I think that's good. This is going to be for at around 10k. So let's just um Wait, what am I looking at? I don't be crazy. Oh. Well, um, 25, and then we go up, and it gets real low. So, let's actually set it to be more doable here. Okay, whoops, 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 easy fingers, okay. So that's pretty close. Um, 1.13, that's not really enough though, I don't think. Oh, it's not telling me. Because the stages aren't hooked up, ah, damn it. So, let's hook them all together, if we can. That one looks bigger. Now it doesn't have as much fuel. Well, let me put this on top of it, and we'll see what happens. How tall is that? Wow, it's actually going to make it. Okay. And... So now I can look at this. Alright, so stage two... Not really. Well, let's see. How am I going to get here? Okay. <laughs> so. That says one, 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 three. Yeah, see, it's different with this hook down to it. I'm not getting it accurate, and I can't pick the engine without pulling it apart. So... Not sure what to do about that. Oh, you know what? I bet you it has the stages mixed up. Yeah, I bet you it has the stages messed up. <coughs> so we've got that and that. Yep. That and that. Yep. Okay. I'm not going to be able to take off. Mm -hmm. So, this needs to be bigger. Oh, boy. Okay, 
that's good enough, I guess. And then let's see. Stage two. Still, I'm not liking it. It isn't giving me the right readings at all. And as soon as I hit that to bring it over, it changes, so. I'm just gonna have to guess. Okay. That's a lot of power. That's still a lot. Um, but it's okay, I think. How much is this costing me? 96? <laughs> All right. I, the other one didn't have any fins, so I guess... Well, I mean I'd have fins, but the other one didn't have fins up here, so... Let's try it out, okay? Oh, I need the payload. That would be good, right? So that's gonna be... Yep. Hey, hooray! Okay. Let's give this puppy a whirl. Hang on, I'm gonna go have a cigarette. Okay, before I launch this, uh, I was just thinking while I was outside, and maybe somebody can help me out with this. So, I was testing out the 4090. I wanted to see what, what the games looked like, and I installed High on Life on here. Not that I plan on playing it, but I wanted to see what it looked like. And it looks great, and you know, the HDR and everything. But here's the thing when I use that dynamic super resolution thing, it seems to turn HDR off. I don't know. I'm gonna go into Discord after I'm done playing this and find out. But if anybody knows, let me know. Because maybe I won't find out in Discord. But So let's launch this thing. We're gonna lock it here, and oh god. So we need to get up into orbit. We don't need to in orbit all we need is our periapsis to be above 80 so that's easy to accomplish but i wanted to see if i could actually get something going here <laughs> so i actually put that almost right where it should be <laughs> that little thing all right um so i'm gonna get my engines on to get them queued up ready to go and here we go All right, so when did he start his turn? <laughs> this is where I get... So he said, yeah, set it at 70, right? Yeah, set it at 70. And... I think that's what I gotta do. Um... And now, we're going to burn out. I'm actually almost burning out right when he did. So I feel like I'm doing something right. Um, okay, let's go stage two. And we're going to set this where... Um, I don't want it to be going that fast to falling. So let's keep this at 45. 
for now. Ooh, that might be even too steep. Oh, we're almost burned out on this. Uh-oh. Rot row. This is burning out way sooner than I thought it would. Okay. Well, this one's not going to perform well. I'm going really slow. So, oh boy. <laughs> Well, I'm burning fuel like a madman here. Let's let it follow that, and hopefully it doesn't keep dipping too low. Oh, uh, it's dipping. I'm gonna get there, though. I just don't like that it's still turning, so... What we at? 30. Okay. Um, all right. Let's let it follow it now. And we should be... Oh, you know what he did before? He let it float up. That's right. Crap. Uh -huh. So let's let it float. <laughs> and then I can. Now I'm in space. Alright, so let's start our burn. Um, I'm not going to have enough fuel, am I? I've got the map now, and I can see that I'm starting to stretch my orbit out, but I'm not going to have enough fuel. It's going to burn out, and it is gone, so my trajectory will be impacting the ocean. All right, well, let's see here. How can I make this better? Well, I'm gonna have to, this second stage has gotta be better. I don't know if this is going to work. It's not supposed to work like that, but... I can do the same thing to this one and make it shorter. That way I can make the fuel have a hold more... That might be too tall. Nope. All right. So let's see. Stage one. Terrible. I think terrible, but they say it's okay. They, they would say that's okay. But stage two. That happened right around here. I feel like stage two probably needs the most burn time. Six, six, six. So there's not much room here. Um, 
Let's make stage two longer. That's gonna put it over, I think, by like, whoops, one. Oh god, don't do this to me. Yep, that's right on, so it won't work. It has to be less than, so... <laughs> I'm cheating. That's quite a long burn time. That one is really long. Um, that'll probably kick in right about there, I would, I would think. So, how can I make that better? It's got more weight up there now, that's why I'm having a problem. Let's give it a little more. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, um... I don't really want to do that. big can I get this? Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. One, two, three. Well. What's going on? <gasps> it's so big it's sticking out. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, well. I don't care. I'm going to launch it like that. If it lets me. I will. Yep. All right. So let's lock this. Get our engines on and launch. Now. Let's get that curve going. I guess. Right. Seventy. falling we are falling not good not good oh that'll correct us but we're not gonna be doing what we need to be doing because that's actually the way we're heading we're basically like <laughs> sticking up but moving sideways through the air that's basically what that looks like uh, that's not good. Not, I think I turned too early. I think I turned too early. Yeah, um, n n n this isn't going to work. Okay. I'm going to go straight up with the first one this time. Just not going to turn at all. Let's see where that gets me. I need to get up out of this thick air. She's wanting to tilt on me. And it's all because of that one little object that it's wanting to tilt that way. Can you believe that? Okay, so I'm not even gaining speed here. Alright, so this is not a good... I should have put more power in that.
Alright. Now I'll let this thing go for quite a bit, because I need to get up there, man. But it's fighting. It's fighting me. I think it'll be okay. Maybe not. It's no longer trying to fight me. I'm starting to get it back, but... Yeah. A lot of wasted um, thrust there. I need to really get... I hope this third one goes a lot better. So, I am gaining, but not great. But there's a lot of burn time on this one, so... If I should start. No, I think I think I should wait. Ooh, when do I want to do this? I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do it at 50. There we go. And up we go. Let's check our thing here. Oh, bye. Okay, wait. I am at space now, okay. Uh, well, I better... Oh no, I didn't mean to do that! I, 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 I... On that note, we're gonna give up for now. This has been a long recording. See if I can do it in the next one. <laughs> Later.